Oh, let's talk about Valve and let's talk about Half Life Alex. So, back in March, Half Life Alex launched and brought tons of users to the platform. Tons more people got into VR. Now, some News outlets even predicted that this was going to cause a huge surge, obviously, but then there was going to be a downturn as people finished the game, as they realized they didn't like VR, they were going to sell these out. Even Road to VR talked about how they were expecting to see some downturn. Well, they were wrong. Steam has actually retained all of the growth, according to Valve's monthly Steam survey, and the last month has it even higher than the Alex peak from before, which is Awesome news for the VR industry. It's great news for Valve. One thing that I will say, though, to think about is that could be skewing the statistic. A ton of people tried to buy the Valve Index back then and may still be waiting to get them. So those people, (laughs) as those headsets are still coming in, more people are getting into VR right now who would have been in back in March. So it kind of that slowed that down. It might have flattened the curve, per se, of the huge increase in VR users, and it might just be going for a longer time. Uh, right what do you guys think about this news i mean i wasn't surprised exactly for that reason that you know people are waiting on their headsets that it's really hard to get a headset right now everything is back ordered not just the valve index but you know the oculus the vive everything if you want a headset right now it's difficult yeah. so i'm not surprised at all if, if demand is as high as it is right now of course people are still playing it was a no-brainer I'm surprised people thought right? it wouldn't be <laughs> <laughs> for me i think it shows that vr has staying power that it's not a gimmick right the fact that it's still high means that people are trying vr just you know for half-life alex because it was immensely popular and realized hey you know vr this is actually a good thing you know and, <laughs> and it has staying power it's here to stay and that's what i love to see is to see the community grow <laughs> what we all want because it brings good things for all of us Except mm-hmm. onward, yeah, right? Just, <laughs> just, just elitist the idea over that, onward. Mm-hmm. Sorry, yeah. I keep interrupting you. <laughs> just the idea that you know somebody's going to try VR and then you know they're going to turn around and go, okay, well, I bought it for Half Life Alex, but I don't really want to play anything else. That that idea just baffles my mind. I've yet to meet anybody where once you put them in VR, they get out of it and they go, yeah, you know, that's not really for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) More addictive than meth. (laughs) I wish I could say the same. I have had people where, you know, they enjoy VR and I get them to play it and they're like, oh, that, you know, that was fun. But they, unfortunately, this is my brother's, which is even more annoying. Um, (laughs) But neither of them were like, um, well, okay, that's not true. One of them is interested in VR because he's into like, space sim flight sims those sorts of things he's he's tried battle group vr and he's like he's like so ready to have vr now um (laughs) hey spoilers (laughs) yes spoilers for later in the podcast um but you know some people do just kind of want to like maybe just play their flight sims that's really all they've got vr for um so that exists but it's definitely a minority most people try vr and they're like this is amazing so yeah it, it makes sense. 